Topic so, Mr. Here, President, Governor we're, 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 we're low so on topic. This is what presidential debates look like today. The major party candidates going head to head with a moderator. In Chào mừng bạn đến với ứng dụng Bado VN, báo đọc bằng giọng nói hàng đầu Việt Nam. Bạn có thể tải hoàn toàn miễn phí trên Google Play cho Android hoặc trên chợ ứng dụng cho iPhone. Link tải được đính kèm trong phần mô tả cuối mỗi video. Bado VN luôn cập nhật tin tức 24 giờ nhanh nhất với đủ các đầu mục nóng hội, thời sự, kinh doanh, pháp luật, sức khỏe, góc nhìn cuộc sống, tâm sự và đặc biệt, bạn có thể trao đổi hoặc tương tác với các thính giả khác. Giao diện ứng dụng được thiết kế thân thiện, trực quan, giọng đọng dễ nghe, truyền cảm chắc chắn sẽ làm quý thính giả hài lòng. Chuyên mục sức khỏe, cẩm năng các bí quyết sống khỏe, chăm sóc phòng tránh bệnh cho gia đình mỗi ngày. Tin mới nhất, nơi tổng hợp các tin xã hội, đời sống giải trí hot nhất 24 giờ. Chuyên mục tâm sự, chia sẻ tâm tư tình cảm của mọi người, đặc biệt là các vấn đề liên quan chuyện thầm kín, tình yêu, hôn nhân danh. Hãy tải ba đô VN này, link tải được đính kèm trong phần mô tả mỗi video. In the middle for 90 minutes on live television. Events usually remembered more for moments and zingers. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. Rather than policy discussions. It wasn't always this way. The first presidential debate of the modern era was on the radio in 1948 during the Republican primary. Each candidate speaks for 20 minutes, then gives an eight and a half minute rebuttal. It would rapidly advance the cause of communism in the United States and all over the world. 1956 brings the first televised debate and the first presidential debate between opposing parties, though the candidates themselves don't appear. It's actually two surrogates, Democrat Eleanor Roosevelt the failure of our policy. and Republican Senator Margaret Chase Smith, who debate on behalf of Adlai Stevenson and Dwight Eisenhower. Four years later, candidates themselves have been on television for the first time, Kennedy versus Nixon, in a format that's now familiar. Candidates answering questions posed to them by a journalist rather than making lengthy speeches or questioning each other. In the first debate, the younger, more charismatic John F. Kennedy comes across strong on TV, while Richard Nixon, who is recovering from a recent hospitalization, appears pale and sweaty. You know, the Nixon-Kennedy debates in 1960 were actually the beginning of the modern televised debate era. There was actually four debates in 1960, but what everybody remembers is the first debate where Kennedy looked healthy and Nixon looked sweaty and sick. He paid a price for that, and what people remembered was how they looked, not what they said. My uh, congratulations to Senator Kennedy for his fine race in this campaign. For the next three elections, there are no debates. Then, they return in 1976, which is the first year to include a vice presidential debate. I think uh, Senator Dole has richly earned his reputation as a hatchet man tonight. The next two, 1980 and 1984, are memorable for Ronald Reagan's debate skills and knack for one-liners. There you go again. Are you better off than you were four years ago? I am not going to exploit for political purposes my opponent's youth and inexperience. <laughs> Then, in 1988, the independent, not-for-profit Commission on Presidential Debates is formed. The only major change since then is the addition of the so-called town hall format in 1992, in which voters ask questions. And what would you do to change? We don't have time for tone. The biggest question hanging over the 2020 debates is the issue of President Donald Trump's participation. What President Trump has said is that he thinks the debate commission was unfair to him in 2016 and he's not sure he's going to agree to do the three presidential debates that they have set up.